How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be talking about Google Drive as well as Google Photos, and we'll be going over the key differences between the two and what exactly sets them apart. So without further ado, let's have read it. So I'm sure everyone's familiar with Google Drive as we've been using it for uploading our assets or saving, uh, having a file repository or a backup for all of our files. So it's pretty used, uh, it's used universally, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's no one in the world who has heard of it, or I should say hasn't heard of it. So um, uh, Google Drive is a place to update your files, and it's not limited to only photos, much like Google Photos is. Here, you can upload any type of media file that you want, so it can be in any format. It can be uh, JPEG, PNG, MP4, MP3, video files, so on and so forth, sheets, Excel files. Um, the possibilities are endless. And the cool thing about this is that every new user at Google gets a free 15 uh, gigabyte storage for free. So you can do uh, whatever you want with the 15 gigs. You can maybe set, uh, save some old gameplay videos or some screenshots or photos to keep as a memento and whatnot. So that's cool. Now, Google Photos, on the other hand, is more um, straightforward and linear as this platform only up lets you upload photos and videos. So it's limited to those two formats. So you can't exactly upload um, text files here or HTML files or digital assets like um, like uh, TXD files or maybe PHP or um, DMARC records or whatnot. So primarily um, Google Photos is used as a storage or database for photos and videos. And the thing about these two is that they share the same storage. So whenever you upload something uh, to Google Drive, the space would be taken and the effects would carry over to Google Photos. So to upload to each is quite simple. You guys just want to click on the plus icon right here and simply upload a file or a folder. Now, as for Google Photos, it's pretty much the same deal. But here you actually uh, drag and drop photos from your um, computer storage or you can use the app to upload photos directly from your phone. And that's basically it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.